Hey everyone, Fred Guy here. Welcome to another video. And today I'm going to have a look at a frame that came out last year. And I, um, till a few months ago, didn't know about the fragrance. Uh, then I spotted it on uh, one of my favourite discounters here in the UK. Uh, and I thought, okay, I'm going to buy that at some point. And a couple of weeks ago, I picked it up. Uh, and this one is, again, one of my favourite houses uh, for cheapies. And this one is from Saruti. Of course, you know, the t you know what it is because it's top of the video. Uh, but this is Saruti 1881 Silver. So before we get into any of the notes and anything else, we'll have a quick look and a closer look at the bottle. Alright, so let's have a quick look at the box and the bottle. So here we have the box. And here is the bottle. So it's your basic... 1881. Now I've got the original here, so you can have a look at both side by side. Uh, so you've got a different colour cap, so this is like um, a silver, and that's like a chrome. You've both got the name on the side, so you've got the silver there, in the 1881. So the bottles are pretty much the same. Again, this one's got like a, well, yeah, like a silver paint on the front. And back as this one's more of a frosty bottle so like most of the 1881 range for men it's the same bottle just done in different colors and slightly different styles but they're pretty much the same thing so uh, we've got the 1881 there painted silver and on the back so information on the bottom and this sort of grayish silver sort of cap and sprayer and that's it so there we go the name of the fragrance just there so that's a look at the box and uh, the bottle okay so you've had a look at that um, right so yeah typical 1881 bottle uh, right 1881 silver got a little bit of information here uh, it was released in 2020 so as I said about a year, just over a year old. Um, cost is an aromatic fougere. Yeah, okay. Uh, top notes are basil, ginger, lemon, sage and coriander. Uh, mid notes, pineapple. No, it doesn't smell like Aventus. Uh, geranium, yang -lang, yang -lang, that one. And lavender. And base is oak moss, uh, amber wood and patchouli. So, I've been getting down a little bit, as you can see, probably about five, six mils, whatever. Um, gonna put this on skin for you. So, I've got a bit of memory back from what this smells like. So, off the top, a little bit of that perfumer's alcohol, but within you know, maybe 10, 15 seconds it goes. And so it's got similarities to the original, uh, this one here, as I said, I've got this one, which is my actually my favourite and a signature scent, I wear this more than anything else, and God knows how many bottles I've got through of that since it was released. This one, right off the bat it's not as good, I'm going to tell you it's not as good as the original and even a couple of the other flankers, um, but what it does is it's like, imagine the original but freshened up, sort of. It's sort of watered down and then freshened up. Uh, it's, it's hard to explain. So, at the notes of here, uh, off of my, my notes, um, lemon, sort of, uh, basil, ginger, <clears throat> sage, coriander, maybe a bit of the coriander uh, off the top. Um, to be honest, uh, nothing else in the, the list really uh, hits my nose. Maybe a touch of lavender when it dries down. Well, this is, I think, clean, watery, transparent. Compared to the original when it opens, it is quite um, sharp citruses uh, and very herbal uh, and a bit in your f sort of in your face with it. This one's very smooth. Um, yeah, really, it, it, it 
for perfumers alcohol disappears and it really smooths out it's, it's quite a smooth fragrance it's got the DNA uh, of the original in the background but it's uh, as I say it's toned down a bit it's all it's you know it's okay but it doesn't wow me like the original does and it's 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 it, the original is the only one that I really sort of gravitate to uh, at the 1881 range I like some of the others I've got them but I still just reach for the original when I use that more than anything well it's my signature scent as I said so yeah you got it's just a very subtle mix of a bit of smooth citrus a bit of a woody backbone the little bits of the herbs are just popping in here or there but it really is just blended all together into sort of one note of a very smooth watery transparent scent and it's not bad when it comes to the scent but what is bad of this particular release unlike the original is its longevity and projection which is below average it's not poor I think for the first maybe hour you know it projects really well but there on it really comes close to the skin it's a very light close to the skin scent where the original I would say because of its tartness and that fougere barbershop like uh, feel when it dries down it is a good spring scent maybe a, a summer night this is one I would say uh, an 1881 like or similar to be um, to the original uh, but think of a very just a refreshing uplifting version that lasts um, an hour or two uh, for the high heat of the summer so I, I don't wear this in the high heat of the summer the original um, again it's that barber shop slope feel with it the herbs that don't quite work for me in the high heat this is sort of a again a, a very fresh watery transparent take on the original which uh, you could wear in the high heat as it dries down you do get a little bit of a, a sort of sea water vibe without the saltiness again just a watery tra transparent scent so who could wear this well pretty much anybody you know completely unisex it's on the masculine side but because it's so light I mean you, you, you have to really douse yourself on it and even then it's still only the last couple of hours um, it really isn't uh, very long lasting or project very well uh, a lot of the actual 1881 line does actually work really well they last and they project well and the performance is good but this particular one um, lacks in its performance in any shape or form uh, but so anybody can really wear this just to freshen up you know it's one of those you just freshen up you think oh that's light and watery and I feel a bit cleaner and um, you, you know you, you just lighten you up slightly um, certainly no like say Dior uh, on Cologne where it's like fresh lemonade and oh my god that, that really brightens you up uh, and makes you feel better uh, not so much this one it's like a quick fix and, and yeah I mean it dries down and you can get more of the original DNA but again very weak um, again watered down version really and some that you can wear in the summer so summertime if you like the original you want a, a very watery transparent version where you can just spray on and feel a bit more refreshed in the high heat of summer um, then then this is uh, one to, to have a look at or of course for you people who are collectors well you've got to get it haven't you and I'm not a collector I, I try the things from the lines that are my favorite but if some I don't like I won't buy again once I've used it I'm, I just don't, I don't like have to have the whole range you know sitting on the shelf looking pretty it's just pointless to me I like to use my juice so summer any age occasions just casual with this one it'd be a very safe office scent because after a couple of say two or three hours no one's going to smell it even yourself anyway so uh, and even the first couple of hours it's very light on the projection so it's a very inoffensive scent hasn't really got any sexiness it hasn't got any alluring side to it it hasn't got 
the power for uh, in, um, date nights or, or clubbing or, or anything like that really. <laughs> um, just some up casual to spice yourself or make yourself feel better and maybe some ultra safe for office. And that's about it. So overall, the release is okay, you know, but again, it's 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 almost redundant. Just go light on the sprays of this, one or two of this. It's sort of comparison to like ten sprays of this, you know, it's that light and airy. Um, still very nice, still very nice, it doesn't smell cheap, it doesn't smell um, you know, nasty cheap chemicals or anything like that, some cheaper fragrances do, uh, it's just starting to come, a little more that was starting to come through. Um, so you know, the, the quality is okay, um, but it's just the right performance isn't that good, but it smells okay, you know, it's just one of those the way that um, perfumery is going, lots of materials are getting banned and they have to resort to stuff like this a lot of the time so unless you chuck a load of sweetness in here which I'm glad that Ceruti at least up to now haven't brought out something that's going with the flow shall we say that's just brought out with just something like this we just chuck a load of sweetness in it like Paco Rabanne uh, Invictus style thing they haven't done one and probably, they probably won't switch thank you but let's hope they don't do one because <laughs> it's a house that really doesn't follow trends. They do the right, really, they do the wrong thing. Uh, and I like Ceruti for that. Or Ceruti, I believe it's, it's said. So that's my review on 1881 by Ceruti, uh, the silver edition. Let me know if you've tried it. Do you like the sound of it? Do you not like the sound of it? Um, could I, would I recommend it? Uh, it's cheap so go ahead but there's be better things out there and things that smell similar uh, which have a bit better performance so it's up to you I'm glad I've tried it I will use it um, throughout probably uh, throughout the summer just you know nice it is a nice refreshing scent but it, you know, it didn't last very long uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the video what you think of the fragrance I tried it not tried it I will try and catch up on uh, comments I've been really really busy at work uh, and I'll be probably a little bit busier soon but I will be having extra time off due to being a little busier I'll explain in another time um, so that's it thanks for watching I really do appreciate it as always and I'll see you again soon on the next video